guys, today we're gonna to be making a cookie monster cake. My name is Lori and you guys are watching The Icing Artist. To start off, I made my vanilla cake recipe, but we're gonna be making a chocolate chip cake. I don't know if you guys have had the same problem, but I always seem to have a problem with my chocolate chips always falling to the bottom. But a viewer told me if I coat the chocolate chips in water and then in flour, they won't sink. I'm gonna give that a try. I then folded the coated chocolate chips into my cake batter and divided that between two eight inch round cake pans that I just lined with parchment paper. And while those are baking, we are gonna be making some fresh chocolate chip cookies because it's the Cookie Monster. And how do you have a Cookie Monster cake and not have chocolate chip cookies? Of course guys, for all the recipes that I'm using in this video, I will leave links in the description box below. You can also click the I. If you guys haven't already subscribed, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Mmm, fresh out of the oven. Once my cakes have cooled completely, I'm just gonna level off the top and would you look at that, there's no chocolate chips in there. You guys have ideas? Leave them in the comments. I did the flour, I, I did the folding, not sure where I went wrong with this. Still gonna be yummy, so we're moving on. I put a layer of my vanilla buttercream on top of one of the cakes and I was gonna crumble up some cookie crumbs and put them all over that filling, but I thought what would be even more yummy if I squared off the edges of each of my cookies and then layered them into the middle of the cake. So when you cut into the cake, there is a layer of cookie. Genius. And you wanted to plan ahead, you could probably just bake one giant cookie in a cake pan. That would probably work a lot better. Or if, you, if you're like me and fly by the seat of your pants and don't plan anything until you're in the middle of doing it, cutting off the edges work too. I layered my cakes up together. I then used a little bit more of my vanilla buttercream icing just to completely fill the middle. So it's nice and solid. I dyed the remaining of my buttercream a royal blue for the Cookie Monster fur and completely crumb coated my cake. Crumb coating basically just locks in all of the crumbs so they don't come in the second layer of icing. I did this with blue so that way if there's any holes where the fur is going on, cause you know, nobody's perfect. You're just gonna see more blue so nobody will know. I then took some of that blue buttercream and added a bit of black food coloring into it and piped on Cookie Monster's mouth, which is basically a half circle. Once that was piped on, it has all those pipelines in it, which I don't like, those don't look good. So I used a piece of paper towel and just rubbed that onto the mouth and peeled it off and that gave a nice and smooth finish. For Cookie Monster's fur, I used a piping bag with a 1M piping tip and then just sporadically piped on his fur. Not gonna lie, I, I did this the first time and I did perfect little kind of fur lines going down and it looked ridiculous. <laughs> so I had to scrape it off and then kind of pipe the fur going all over in different kind of directions so it looked more messy and fur-like. I have caked so many kids' cakes because they're my favorite thing to do. If you guys wanna see a full playlist of those, I will leave a link right here. For his big googly eyes, I used some white fondant. I rolled that into a large ball, kind of like a golf ball, and then added some little black circles. And of course, you gotta make his eyes googly-like because Cookie Monster is crazy for cookies, looking all over the place. Remember how we squared off the edges of the other cookies? Well, we're gonna be using those cookie crumbs to add crumbs all over the Cookie Monster. Can't be wasting cookies. I sprinkled those around and added one cookie bite in as a big bite. And that is it, our Cookie Monster is completely finished. Not only does this cake look really fun on the outside, but with that giant cookie layer in the middle, oh man. This looks delicious. Get a little bit of everything here. Mm-hmm. Mmm. So you guys have to try this. Cookie Monster or not, put cookies in the middle of your cake. Of course, if you guys haven't already subscribed to this channel, don't forget to click my floating head that's right over here. I will leave more videos over here that you guys might want to check out. I don't know. Could be fun. And don't forget to come back here again next week because we'll be making something else into cake. Bye, guys.